Good day, Kamatorific. Samahan nyo ako ulit sa ating panibagong lessons. And our lessons for today are Finding elapsed time Estimating elapsed time And solving problem involving elapsed time Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin yung elapsed time At ituturo ko sa inyo how to find the elapsed time So, pakinggan natin mabuti at matuto Kaya mapapansin nyo dito, yung shorthand niya ay nakaturo sa 12 na nagre-represent ng hours, kung ilang hours. At yung longhand naman ay nakaturo sa 4 na nagre-represent kung ilang minutes. So, yung bawat number dyan na makikita nyo ay equivalent niya is 5 minutes. Therefore, dahil nakaturo sa 4, yan ay equivalent to 20 minutes. So, yung magiging time natin dyan ay 12 o'clock and 20 minutes. Dito sa kabila, mapapansin nyo, yung short hand naman ay nakaturo sa 12 at yung long hand naman ay nakaturo sa 8. Yan. Dahil nagsimula siya kanina dito sa 4, mapapansin nyo sa unang illustration, Okay, nag-move siya papunta sa 8. So, ibig sabihin, from 12.20, magdadagdag tayo ng 5 minutes papuntang 8. So, dagdag tayo ng 20 minutes sa 12.20. So, yung magiging time niya is 12 o'clock and 40 minutes. Ayan. Paano ba natin malalaman yung kanyang elapsed time? So, sa pamamagitan ng pag-subtract natin from end time to start time, ay malalaman natin yung kanyang elapsed time or yung time na nagamit niya. So, 0 minus 0 equals 0. Then, 4 minus 2 equals 2. Then, bring down the colon. Then, 12 minus 12 equals 0. Therefore, yung elapsed time niya dito ay 20 minutes. Ibig sabihin, yung na gamit or na-consume natin na time is 20 minutes. Next example. Yung first illustration dito, makikita nyo yung short hand ay nakaturo sa 1 and then yung long hand niya ay nakaturo sa 7. Ngayon, yung magiging oras niya is 1. Since nakaturo yung long hand sa 7, so that is represent, yung nire-represent niya ay minutes. So, yung magiging time natin ay 1 hour and 35 minutes. Dahil yung equivalent ng bawat number dyan ay 5 minutes. So, mayroon tayong 7 na 5 minutes. That is equivalent to 35 minutes. So, 1 o'clock and 35 minutes. Okay, dito naman sa illustration Two, yung mapapansin nyo yung short hand ay nakaturo sa 1 then yung long hand ay nakaturo sa 10 so kanina galing siya dito sa 7 na yung time is 135 so nag move siya ng tatlong beses so ibig sabihin from 135 or 1 o'clock and 35 minutes mag a tayo ng tatlong 5 minutes Therefore, 135 plus 15 minutes, yung magiging time niya is 1 o'clock and 50 minutes. Okay, paano ba natin hanapin yung elapsed time? Siyempre, subtract natin yung start time from the end time. So, unahin natin yung end time. So, that is 1 o'clock and 5, 50 minutes in the Start time, 1 o'clock and 35 minutes. 
Okay, then subtract. Okay, so 0 minus 5 cannot be. So, pwede tayo mag-borrow from 5. So, yung 0 magiging 10, then 5 magiging 4. So, 10 minus 5 equals 5. Then, 4 minus 3 equals 1. Then, 1 minus 1 equals 0. So, ibig sabihin, yung kanyang elapsed time ay 15 minutes. Yan. So, yan yung nagamit nating time. 15 minutes. Okay. So, we have another example. Okay. The time is... Uh, start time is 5 minutes and 15 seconds. Then, the end time is... 6 minutes and 56 seconds. So, para mahanap natin yung elapsed time. So, 6 minus 4 equals 2. 5 minus 3 equals 2. Then, 6 minus 5 equals 1. 0 minus 0 equals 0. Then, 0 minus 0 equals 0. So, mapapansin nyo dito yung kanyang elapsed time or nagamit natin or na-consume natin na time is 1 minute and 22 seconds. Okay, let's have another example. Okay, so the start time is 9 o'clock and 15 minutes. Then the end time is 11 o'clock and 10 minutes. So, syempre, ganun pa rin yung ating gagawin. Subtract natin yung start times and time so yung end time natin ay 11 hours or 11 o'clock and 10 minutes then the start time 9 o'clock and 50 minutes ayan mapapansin nyo dito yung kanyang minutes sa end time ay 10 minutes and then, the start time ay 50 minutes. So, since na mas malaki yung kanyang, uh, mas malaki yung uh, minutes ng start time, okay, sa end time, yung gagawin natin dyan ay mag-rename natin yung end time para masubtract natin yung start time. So, paano ba tayo mag-rename? So, simple lang yung gagawin natin. Yung 11 ay mamainusan natin siya ng isang oras. So, magiging 10. Then, i-add natin siya sa minutes. So, ang ilalagay natin sa kanya ay 60 minutes. That is also uh, equivalent to 1 hour. Uh, 10 o'clock and 60 minutes. That is also 11 o'clock. Okay, so after natin ma-rename yung 11 o'clock, i-add natin yung minutes na 10. So, plus 10, i-add natin lahat ng minutes, 60 plus 10, then copy the hours, yun yung 10, then 60 plus 10 equals 70. So, then, yung isa-subtract natin ay 9 o'clock and 50 minutes. Copyin lang natin yun. Nasa baba, yung start time. Then, pwede na natin siyang subtract. Okay? So, mas malaki na yung end time doon sa minute. So, 0 equals 0. Then, 7 minus 5 equals 2. Then, 10 minus 9 equals 1. So, ibig sabihin, yung kanyang elapsed time or yung na-consume natin na oras ay 1 minute and 20 seconds. So, ganyang, uh, yan ang gagawin natin kung sakaling uh, makita nyo na mas malaki yung uh, minutes ng end time kaysa start time. So, ang gagawin natin ay i -re rename yung hours minus 1, tapos ito plus 60 natin. Okay? Tapos i-add natin yung minutes. Ayan. 
So, napansin nyo na mas malaki na yung minutes ng end time, which is 70, kaysa start time na 50. So, pwede na natin siyang i-subtract. Okay, now, how to estimate the elapsed time? So, paano ba tayo mag-estimate ng elapsed time? Ayan. So, to estimate the elapsed time, so, yung gagawin natin is, syempre, isasubtract pa rin natin na dapat, ang una natin isusulat yung uh, time ended. Okay? Tapos yung time started. So, laging nauna yung end time. Then, estimate natin yung minutes ng uh, uh, 6 o'clock and 48 minutes is 48. So, kukopihan lang muna natin yung hours niya. Then, estimate natin yung 48. So, yung 48, kapag in-estimate natin siya, magiging 50. Ayan. Dito naman sa baba, kopihan natin yung R, which is 6. Then, estimate the 12 minutes. So, kung estimate natin yan, magiging 10. Okay, pagkatapos nyan, saka na natin siya i-subtract to get the estimated elapsed time. So, 0 minus 0 equals 0. 5 minus 1 equals 4. Then, 6 minus 6, 0. So, ibig sabihin, yung kanyang estimated time, estimated elapsed time ay 40 minutes. Okay, paano naman natin gagawin yung uh, hahanapin yung actual elapsed time? Siyempre, ang gagawin natin is subtract lang natin yung time ended, tapos yung time started. So, 8 minus 2 magiging 6, then 4 minus 1 becomes 3, then 6 minus 6 equals 0. So, yung actual elapsed time niya ay 36 minutes. So, ganyan yung um, pagkuha or paano magtumingin or how to find estimated elapsed time. Okay, next. Solving problem involving elapsed time. So, meron tayo ditong problem. Mr. Solano begins cleaning their house at 9 o'clock and 10 minutes in the morning. He expects to finish his work at 9 o'clock and 55 minutes in the morning. How long will Mr. Solano do the cleaning? So, let us answer the following questions. First question is, what is asked? Okay, that is correct. How long will Mr. Solano do the cleaning? What are the given facts? Very good. 9, uh, nine o'clock and 10 minutes in the morning and 9 o'clock and 55 minutes in the morning. What is the operation to be used? Correct. Subtraction. What is the number sentence? That is right, 9 o'clock and 55 minutes minus 9 o'clock and 10 minutes equals N. How is the solution? So, we subtract 9.55 to or we subtract 9.10 to 9.55. Okay, so 5 minus 0 equals 5. Then 5 minus 1 equals 4. Then 9 minus 9 equals 0. So 45 minutes. What is the answer? So 45 minutes long will Mr. Solano do the cleaning. Okay, so that is how to solve a problem involving time.